Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Olive Board. My name is Dinkar and I welcome you all in this session. I hope everybody is doing great, feeling healthy and fine once again to the Saturday's morning, fresh morning. And as you all know that a slight winterish session have started and you can just feel a little bit of coolness in the weather in the morning. So maybe you can say that winter season have already started and uh, again to this beautiful morning, I welcome all of you. Uh, with our PIB session, press and schemes, government initiatives, whatever the government is taking, uh, this special uh, series that we have started for the Press Information Bureau because whenever you are writing any uh, competitive examination, whether you are writing PU examination or regulatory body examination, what is more important is the recent current affair which government is uh, doing uh, uh, in the country. So that is why this is very important uh, because uh, whenever uh, the government uh, try to whenever any uh, questions are being framed or any MCQ is framed they just mostly focus on the recent current affairs so recent current affairs which have a relevance to the examination or the syllabus of the examination. So that is why this important series has been sp uh, started especially for all of you to make you aware uh, regarding the various uh, affairs that the government is uh, uh, conducting throughout the country and with the rest, uh, rest of the world okay so once again uh, welcome to the session fine uh, so so we'll starting with uh, the first question for today so the question number one is ibismar is an joint military exercise between india south africa and dash Ipsmar is a joint military exercise between India, South Africa and Dash. Anybody knows the answer, they can say it to me. They can just uh, attempt it in the chat box. Please, uh, just if anybody is there, they can just wave off in the chat box like you are present or you can also answer this question so I will be able to know. I am just waiting for a few seconds for you to answer this question. Ipsmar is a joint military exercise between india south africa and dash anybody knows the answer brazil indonesia japan uae what is the answer for this question okay so i will be telling uh, the answer of this question the answer of this question is a brazil okay so this uh, joint military exercise ibasmar is between india south africa and brazil now, the second question related to the same exercise is IBSMAR is a joint military exercise. So, which naval ship, which Indian naval ship has participated in this joint military exercise between India, South Africa and Brazil? INS Tarani, INS Tarkash, INS Tarangini, INS Tarmugli. Which naval ship has participated in IBSMAR? It, that is a joint military exercise between India, South Africa and Brazil. Which Indian naval ship has participated in this exercise? Please guys, uh, you can you can attempt the question whether you know it or not know it. Uh, that doesn't matter. At least attempt the question. At least attempt the question so that uh, you will have a photographic memory that will be created. Even if you do wrong, then also the memory will be created that what is the right answer. INS Tarani, INS Tarkash, INS Tarangani, INS Tarmugli. What is the answer for this question? Okay, so I will be just telling you the answer of this question. I, uh, the answer is B. INS Tarkash has participated in the IPSMAR that is a joint military exercise between India, South Africa and Brazil. Okay. So, uh, this is the seventh version of IPSMAR exercise, IPSMAR 7 that has happened. So this is a seventh edition of this exercise that has happened. So they can also ask you what edition of this exercise has happened. It is a maritime exercise, multinational between India's, Brazil and South Africa. It has happened in Port Kubra, also known as Port Elizabeth, that is in South Africa. So this whole exercise has been conducted in the Port of Elizabeth, that is in uh, south africa and indian naval ship that is also a guided missile frigate ins tarkash 
with along with the chetak helicopters and marcos special force commandos they have all participated in this exercise the main objective whenever we conduct any kind of uh, maritime exercise it is always related to uh, creating a orderly relationship between the various countries uh, for military trainings combat maritime crimes because all have to work together because crimes are similar to all the countries because all the countries are facing similar type of crime so it is the best way to have a coordination between the various militaries between the various air force navies okay because if they wanted to combat the crime so they have to work all together so that is why these kind of exercises are very important in order to protect strengthening the maritime relationship operational military training combating the maritime crimes also to secure the sea lines because lot of trade happens lot of uh, uh, ships and uh, cargo ships keeps on coming oil ships are coming so in order to protect the uh, the sea lines because as you all know that uh, uh, in the indian ocean part and in the arabian sea part there is a huge issue of piracy that is happening so that is a very important for these these exercises are very important to conduct in order to protect the sea lines of communication and also to have a better communication between the various type of people from different countries and have a common evaluation of the sea so it is a professional exchange of damage control fire fighting skills visit board search operations seizure of the various things then uh, the interaction between the various special forces of all those countries this will help you to strengthen the maritime security joint operation if any any times they wanted to conduct any kind of joint operation so this will be like a it's like a practice session to all of them and building the interoperability of what is the common maritime threat now uh, a new uh, website has been launched by our raksha mantri that is uh, defense minister shri rajnath singh ji that is called ma bharati ke saput the main uh, the main uh, thing regarding this website is that it is for the to contribute to the armed force people who got casualties in the uh, battle okay so this is a welfare fund and the website has been created and there is no upper limit no upper limit for any donation okay you can contribute any any amount of uh, money to that and that will be used for the people who got who have a, a very uh, uh, disastrous casualty that has happened even a, a small casualty if they have happened so this welfare fund will be utilized uh, for the contribution to the uh, battle casualties okay so this is the website name www.mahabharatikesapur.mod.gov.in for the contribution to the armed force battle casualty that is called afbcwf that is armed force battle casualty welfare fund and uh, this is a tri service fund so it is not like for army only it is a tri service fund for a, a army navy and air force all together and it will be providing a grant to immediate financial assistance immediate financial assistance to the families of the soldiers sailor airmen everybody because uh, in the war time they normally get injured and they have a huge casualty so that is why government has started this so very important uh, task like a, uh, in, uh, like along with the welfare schemes uh, the people get uh, the soldiers get killed also uh, the uh, the soldiers get disabled also during combat operation so in order to generate public sentiments towards the soldier we are asking the citizens also to be a part of this fund okay corporate head citizen bank industries captain all people can do all these things okay so the website will enable people to contribute online directly into the funds okay so here the website is there you can directly go to the website and there is there some otp will be generated and with that otp your mobile phone will be registered and if whatever amount you want to transfer you can transfer that and it will be contribute directly online into the fund okay and you will also get a certificate of that you will also get the certificate for the same now comes the another exercise exercise prasthan exercise prasthan has been conducted under the aegean and that has happened in the krishna godavari basin that is offshore development area that is oda the exercise prasthan has been conducted so this offshore security uh, exercise that has been conducted along with the uh, 
participation from various oil corporators like our ongc reliance vedanta those who are working in the maritime area so maritime security is very important for all these companies so along with indian navy these corporate have uh, participated in this exercise like ongc reliance vedanta as you all know these are uh, uh, the biggest uh, of our country the oil uh, corporates world so along with this andhra pradesh marine police andhra pradesh fishery department coast guard everybody has participated on board drilling rigs okay uh, like how they are going to like if any type of threats or any type of problems or any type of bomb explosion casualty evacuation search and rescue operation anything can happen whenever all these uh, business activities are going on oil exploration gas exploration as you all know that krishna godavari basin is important for gas exploration okay so there uh, there are various type of threats that are there maybe all of sudden terrorists may intrude over there maybe bomb explosion can be there casualty evacuation if somebody some uh, disaster has happened over there so how you can just evacuate these people from there how you can do search and rescue operation if there is a huge amount of fire that can happen oil spill can happen so this exercise is very important in order to make people uh, uh, to aware regarding all these things and to make sure that they are uh, already prepared for all these exercises okay so all the stakeholder uh, they have done all the uh, exercise with the realistic opportunities they have also checking like what is their readiness if anything can happen like that what is the readiness in order to uh, whether we can uh, combat all these uh, problems or not so that is why along with the indian navy along with the andhra pradesh marine police andhra pradesh fishery department these or these uh, uh, various oil corporators have uh, participated in exercise prasthan okay how they can word in a synergized manner now comes the question number 3 question number 3 states that recently which edition of national games got concluded recently which editions of national games got concluded anybody knows the answer recently which edition of national games have got concluded 26th edition 36th edition 16th edition or 25th edition anybody knows the answer they can answer that immediately recently which edition of national games got concluded 26th edition 36th edition 16th edition or 25th edition i'm just waiting for few seconds for your answer guys uh, please if you know the answer please attempt the question do not sit simply because uh, your participation is must for this exercise okay so please participate in the session which edition of national games got concluded right now 26 36 16 or 25th anybody knows the answer they can say it okay so the answer of this question is b that is the 36th edition of the national games have just now been got concluded now the second question on the same uh, the recently the national games were held at tamil nadu andhra pradesh uttar pradesh or gujarat recently the national games were held at which place tamil nadu andhra pradesh uttar pradesh or gujarat at which place national games have been concluded tamil nadu andhra pradesh uttar pradesh or gujarat which places national games have just now been got concluded tamil nadu andhra pradesh uttar pradesh or gujarat okay so fine that's fine uh, i'm just uh, telling the answer of this question answer of this question is d just now the 36th edition of the national games got concluded in the state of gujarat okay so why this news is that uh, just now the national games got concluded and uh, sajan and harshika have secured the best athlete award at the national games okay so sajan prakash from kerala and Ashika Ramchandra from Karnataka they uh, uh, the Sajan has been crowned as the ma uh, bell, best male athlete and Ashika Ramchandra has been declared as a best female athlete in the 36th national games that has just recently got concluded so Sajan Prakash has won eight medals five individual gold two silver and a bronze and uh, 
Hanshika Ramchandra, she is just 14 year old and she also won 6 gold for in her collection and 7 medals at the national game debut and she is the first from the Karnataka athlete in 20 years who has backed this coveted trophy of the best athlete award okay now comes the purple revolution in the study uh, study class also we have talked about the purple revolution but uh, today i wanted to discuss a little bit more regarding this purple revolution so please uh, just understand that purple revolution is uh, get what originated in the jammu and kashmir because it is offering us startups a very good avenue for a kind of agripreneurship because uh, if you enter in this lavender sector, purple revolution is known for lavender sector because it is that the color of that uh, lavender is purple in color. So that is why the name has been given as purple revolution. So this question can be there. Purple revolutions is associated with that. Yesterday I have taken the question on that. So purple revolution is under the mission of aroma mission, aroma mission. So here in this mission, the first time, it is the first time that uh, the free lavender sampling, free lavender plants has been given to the farmers. Okay. Why? Uh, because government wanted to support the domestic aroma, aromatic crops based on agroeconomy. Government wanted to improve the agroeconomy. Government wanted to support each and every part of the agroeconomy. That is why government have started an aroma mission uh, under that uh, the purple revolution uh, with the special focus on the lavender has been given because we are importing lot of uh, uh, aromatic plants from the outside and uh, that is also uh, creating a huge uh, forex uh, pressure on our country so that is why we wanted to create we wanted to grow these aromatic plants in our country because these are known for the oils so that is why we wanted to uh, we wanted to utilize the homegrown variety of the aromatic plants so what is the main objective of this aroma mission aroma mission is like we wanted to cultivate the homegrown aromatic plants then agarbattis are there incense sticks are there okay then various type of oil for massaging then perfumes all these things are there and there is a huge demands of uh, uh, of these aromatic uh, oils in the country and that is why it will help in boosting the aroma business and we wanted india to become a leader in this aromatic plants and oil production in some categories okay so uh, exactly under the aroma mission we wanted to starting the starting we wanted to bring around 30000 hectares under the cultivation and uh, because this is the intervention of csir this is the intervention of the csir and uh, first of all in the starting they wanted to bring additional area around 30000 hectare under the aroma mission and after that they wanted to increase it to 60000 hectare and we wanted to produce around 700 tons of essential oils for industries of perfume, cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, and soap industries. And because this aromatic plants have a very good amount of value addition, because once you extract the oil, their value gets increased by 10, 20 fold times. Okay. So the whole business of that is at least of 200 crore of the business can be done for a year if proper care is being taken. Okay, so lavender farming has been launched under the aroma mission by the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research that is CSIR and also Indian Institute of Integrative Medicine that is there under the Ministry of Science and Technology and after the success of the first plan of the CSIR now they are starting on the phase 2 of this mission and now they wanted to skill around 45,000 human resources and they will help supporting 75,000 families. So lavender oil under the purple revolution the main a task of lavender oil is uh, oil extraction uh, this lavender oil is used for making soaps cosmetics perfume room freshener and medicines and why we are focusing on the lavender is that because this lavender does not require much of the water because this uh, crop do not require too much of maintenance there is no uh, a very very least maintenance very least maintenance very least maintenance is required for this crop, low, no lot of water, very low risk of the pest and animal also don't destroy these crops. Okay. So normally if uh, the plant is there, a single plant can deliver the flower up to 15 years, up to 15 years you can uh, take the flowers and very, very low maintenance, 
and you can start using it from the second year of the plantation like you start you have planted right now and then from the second year you can start your utilizing the flower from the second year and this business is very very profitable because uh, you can give uh, 10 20 full times of the money that you have invested over there so that is why the government is running huge amount of campaigns conducting awareness programmings about the profitability of this crop regarding the profitability of this crop government is focusing on that and uh, that is why government has also distributing uh, this for free of cost lavender plants this is the first time they have distributed the samplings free of cost and the, they are making uh, the awareness regarding this and also generating the interest among the uh, farmer about this crop and the crop uh, yield is also very good in this category so what is the use of this uh, uh, product of lavender first of all it's uh, lavender oil sell for at least 10000 rupees per more than more than uh, rupees 10000 a liter uh, the liquid oil the lavender liquid oil after taking out the oil some liquid is left so that is used for making incense stick Agarbatti, we call it at Hindi. Okay, then there is a hydrosol uh, which, after distillation from the flower, you can also make use of this. So you can also use for making uh, soaps and room freshener. So this is giving you a value addition. Value addition, it is giving to you if you are utilizing this crop, and government is giving support to you if you are uh, producing this kind of crops. Okay. So guys, this is all for today, I think. Uh, so thank you so much for joining the session. Uh, uh, hello, Alex, uh, have you joined the session? Yeah, okay, good morning, good morning to you. Uh, anything you wanted to know? Uh, today I have discussed few things. Uh, anybody, any uh, anything you wanted to ask or anything, Alex? So, uh, if you have any query or anything uh, you wanted to ask, uh, if I am not uh, there, you can just simply uh, write it on the chat box or you can write and when the session gets over, you can just uh, write it on the comment box uh, and I will be seeing your uh, query and I will be surely answering to your query, okay? any Anything you can, if you have any query, anything you wanted to ask, uh, like any doubts or something like that, you can just simply leave it on the chat box or comment box. Surely, I will be answering that to you okay so thank you so much for joining the session great to have you all here bye bye take care and see you tomorrow morning okay bye bye good night sorry not good morning